Welcome back to AutoCraft. Today is episode 32. And if I can figure out how to use my camera, I did a lot of work around this place in between the episodes. So let's go ahead and start here. We're going to show it off and then we are actually going to leave the base because I've basically only done work over here and it's been a lot, a lot of time, a lot of effort, but I'm happy with how it turned out. So let's go take a little quick tour. So on this side is kind of the main entrance, obviously, because it goes to the tower. Um, but I came up with kind of a custom banner design, which you can see here. It's like a purple axe, which I'm really happy with. Now I have to come up with a name for the village and eventually I'll get there. But uh, any ideas that you have, make sure you throw them in the comments. So throughout here, I decided to do a couple different things. One, I wanted it to look a little overgrown on the non-pathway part. So I did some bone meal. I messed with some armor stands and created some little mini like displays for each of the shops. They each have names. So I'm not going to go through all of them. And then I will have four cartographers here. Uh, this is kind of their specific area that they'll live. Um, in this case, he's just kind of confined to this spot because I don't want him to get out and I don't want mobs to kill him. But you can see that I have different iterations of the map. So there's one. You can also see over here is the next iteration, including the building that I worked on. And one of the things that I'm most happy with is my giant compass right in the center of it. So you can see there we have the northeast, southwest, and it's kind of a cool way to see it from the map's perspective, which are up on those pillars. It also makes those less plain and boring. So over here we have a wood shop. Over here we have sand, gravel, glass, concrete, all of that. Let's see all the ites over here, which I actually named. We have the ites. Dun, dun. I don't think that's right. Uh, grass and dirt over here, different types of dirt. Uh, let's see, no map here yet. So we'll have two more iterations of the base map. Probably one when it's like three or four more buildings get completed and then one final one. Uh, stone over here, iron, and then back to quartz and blackstone. So yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Each of these little individual places has storage where I've kind of moved some of the materials. I haven't done it all. The iron one is the one I'm not looking forward to because there's a ridiculous amount of iron that I have, but there's also lots of storage uh, space. And then I just added these little barrels and what I'm gonna do is keep like different like variants. So like I have a bunch of blackstone stairs and slabs and things like that that I'll just put in here. That way I know where they are at all times. Same with quartz and all of the other ones. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. Let's take a, a view from the sky. at the compass yeah I think it looks good and then I also spent some time over here it bothers me but I had to do it because creepers and stuff were spawning I got almost blown up down there while moving villagers so I had to come along and carpet this there was already snow appearing up on the top of this anyway which I actually liked the look of so I just used white carpet to kind of simulate fake snow uh, brown obviously for the wood and gray for all the basalts so yeah that's kind of what I've been doing in between episodes. So in terms of what we're going to do today, I don't really know, to be honest. Uh, we just did our stream day yesterday, so I did a bunch of armor stand work on that. It was actually a really enjoyable time. Uh, let's go over to the shopping district, and I'll kind of show you what happened. And here we are witnessing the beautiful creation of AutoCraft stream day during my little two hour segment. So we worked on the park here and it's been something that I've been wanting to do for a while, but it's one of those things where I just had never got around to it and doing armor stands takes a long time. But basically we have the, the different groups of people. So you can see we have some of the, the newer members over here playing little games, Lego throwing an ender pearl. We have Fabageg over here, Zame and Mechanic tossing clumsy in the air. Uh, we have Alex and I over here showing off our richities. Um, I also might change my, I did, I like went for this like gray, but I think I'm gonna switch it to white, to be honest. Uh, let's see. We got lady laughs and greeny over here, hanging out on the bench on this side. We have Jason train and Equinox also hanging out on a bench Equinox with his flower, Jason with his honey. So a lot of detail went into this. And then this is my personal favorite here, which is the captains of industry and it's death. And he's got his two little, little children hanging out and little, little shy rustic, just hiding behind death <laughs> it's just enjoyable 
So the only person that's currently active on the server that's not depicted here is uh, Astazora, who's the newest member. And that's because he has not died yet. And the wandering trader does not sell his head. So until he dies, he will not be depicted in the park scene. But I'm happy with it. Uh, very, very happy with how that turned out. So other things that we got to do here. Quick stop at Club of Diamonds. I just stumbled into a wandering trader and bought some gold blocks. Uh, which is perfect because Mechanic is selling some diamonds. Oh, somebody else filled them. There was five left yesterday when I looked, so somebody beat me to it. It's so frustrating. But all right, anyways, I got four of them, so I got eight diamonds for it. But yeah, we're going to stop over here at the Auto Clash Arena selection area. So I haven't done this yet because I wanted to do it on video, but basically... Welcome to Auto Clash. Choose your slice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I know all this. I already read it. Um, so basically in here, I should have my name. There's my name. And let's see kind of where people are. Equinox, Zame, Alex, Greeny, Clumsy. So I think I want to be... I kind of want to be opposite of Alex because I want to do like a tunnel system with him. Um, let's see. I don't want to go fully opposite because there's going to be a bunch of redstone in the... Yes, splashes. I don't want to go full opposite of Alex because there's going to be a bunch of redstone in the center. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go opposite on the cardinal direction and I'm going to go here. Because Clumsy and I, we play games and stuff, but we've never really worked together. So that'll allow me to collaborate with Clumsy as well as potentially doing like a tunnel system to Alex. And maybe even Zame. I'm excited. I'm just going to leave it there. I've made my decision. It's final. Was there anything else? Oh, yeah. There is one more thing I want to do here. Actually, uh, we need to show a clip first before I do that. So I met up with Alex two days ago. So let's go ahead and jump into that clip right now. Well, hello, sir. Hello, boss. Welcome to our tower meeting room. How are you? I'm doing well. Thanks for summoning me. I always like being summoned in the middle of working on things. Yes, I've seen what you've been doing, and it's awesome. So, yeah, go back to work when you're done with this. Oh, thanks. we Will do. Yeah, well, the reason I brought you here was, well, in my last build, you came by, and you gave me some wool, and now I need to repay you, and I have this lovely mushroom head here, and I think that you really wanted it. So I'm going to just wear it real quick so you can admire how nice it is, and then I'm going to hand it over to you. I have literally committed genocide on mushrooms and have not Those gotten poor, one of these. Those poor cows. I'm pretty sure every mushroom in the gaming district is dead because of me. You wiped out an entire civilization of mushroom cows? I'm putting this in my office. It's going in my office. It's like a trophy for you now. It, it absolutely is. It's definitely worth the wool that I gave you. I, I want this a lot more than the wool. Well, thank you for the wool. It really helped out in that massive airship. And I think we have other things we need to discuss while we're here, right? We do. We should probably talk about the, the other two members. So as you've uh, probably been aware, uh, they are no longer uh, a part of the Titans. Um, they yeah. have decided to take their leave from the Autocraft server. So I just wanted to bring it up just so that we're both kind of on the same page. And it's you and me, buddy. Yeah, I'm, I'm sad about it. I really do like those guys, and I definitely will keep talking to them when I have a chance to. But, uh, yeah, just they just won't be here in Autocraft, so it's not a big deal. We'll move on, but I guess what we're going to move on from there is we're going to play a mini game. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so I played it last week, so I'm hoping that I can play a little bit better this time. But, uh, yeah, okay. let's go head over to the gaming district, and we will play, uh, what is it called? Leaping Lava. Leaping Lava. We, uh, we just got done with our meeting over there, but we're here at the new game. This game is called... What's it called? Leaping Lava. Lava. They yeah, Leaping say Lava. Lava, Clumsy said. Yeah, I think I think the last clip we just recorded actually had you saying that, but I want to say it again. La lava. <laughs> <laughs> La lava. Lava. Leaping Lava. Okay. All right, so you know how to play this game. I watched you play it. I actually tried it on stream, and I insta-died. So I'm thinking we do, like, two practice runs... 
uh, and then we'll do a bet on what happens after that. We should bet on the practice runs too, just because then it, okay. it makes the practice runs a little bit more. So let's say three diamonds for each practice run, and then we'll figure out after the practice run how many blocks we want to bet. How about a diamond block per practice? Okay, I'm okay with that. Up the ante a little bit. You know bit we have enough diamonds to, to do this. Exactly. We're looking pretty good on diamonds. So do so you want to go first so I can watch you since you've done this more than me? Uh... I hate this game. I got to be honest with you. <laughs> it's, it's I suck hard. so it's bad game. at it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can go yeah. first. I'll go first on the first practice run. Go. Oh, good start. Good start. Oh, we got one point already. Wow. Oh. All right. All right. Here's my attempt. Practice attempt number one. Boss just died instantly, and it's my turn. So I'm going to turn Whoa. around and hit this button. I got what? a point. You you got one point. Okay, I'll see if I get at least two. And this is the practice, but we're still playing for diamond blocks. So let me go ahead and make it loud. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. I'm nervous. There's a button over there. Ah. No, I, 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 uh, ah. Oh, I have, I have health. I cheated. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> How do you have health? Did you eat? Uh, I forgot to drop down the hole. <laughs> I think I'm going to die here. Yeah, if you're not at full, you're definitely going <laughs> to die. <laughs> You did the right thing. Once you realized your mistake, well, you just... Well, technically, oh. you would have died. So, yeah, I'll take the win on the first one. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Are you serious? I, I swear. I wasn't I was even looking. Too. I wasn't I even swear. looking. <laughs> I just fell off the ladder immediately. Oh, this is not going well. Uh, I've conceded that you won the first one. You did get one point. I did not. And then this is my second attempt. And if I remember, this one goes this, this way. So... I should be able to go now, and I'm still nervous, and I'm going to cry, and go. Eh. These blocks move slower than it feels like. That one opened up in front of me, but I can't get to it. No! <laughs> <laughs> Got one. All right, I'm just going to uh, try to go one. while it's going, so I don't have to wait the two minutes. Okay. So you yeah, got I one point. Let's see what happens. Oh, nice. Good start. Oh, God. Move. Oh, it's it? hard to look there up. You have to look up at the buttons at the same time. Ah, the jump. Oh, he got the button. Okay, so he has at least one. Uh-oh. Is he going to get another one? No, he's going to make it. I think there's one open down there. Oh, he got two. He already beat me. Oh, gosh. He, he's really getting some practice in now. Oh, this is not, this is not a good feeling for me on this next attempt. Which one is it? Oh, there it is. I don't want to. I don't want to help you. <laughs> Gosh, oh, dang it! I tried to grab it before it moved. Uh, I'll give you a little hint on the getting down the ladder. Once you get down to like the button level, you can just hold crouch and push forward and fall off the ladder, and you'll be fine. You won't take any fall damage. Uh, just make sure okay. you hold crouch. Okay. Well, don't do that. <laughs> why? Why would he grab the ladder? Ooh, okay. Uh, first attempt. I guess this is the final attempt, really, at the uh, the big prize pool there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and cry myself to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I knew it as soon as you jumped. <laughs> oh god, the jump was so bad. Uh, uh, okay. Well, since this one's for five diamond blocks, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait for it to reset. <laughs> um, you should just go for it. All right, I guess I do only have to get one. How bad can it be? Go, 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 go. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Jump, 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 jump. Are you nervous? Uh, yes. Okay. 10 well, diamond blocks right here. Jump to your right. It's to your right. The other way. No, the other way. Dang it. <laughs> no, I got one. Win. That's all I all needed. needed. <laughs> That's all you needed to win. That's all I oh, needed I was one so point. Uh, That's 12 well. diamond blocks I've stolen from you. Okay. <laughs> Don't rub it Wait. in. Wait. No, 12 diamond blocks total. From you, seven. Five of those were already mine. Don't, Can I break this? Don't you dare. It will break what? it. It'll disappear. <laughs> All right. Bye. <laughs> uh, if I punch you, what happens then? Uh, Insta loss. Okay. Dang it. That was my strategy. No sabotage. <laughs> I was going to immediately punch you and try to win. <laughs> so really what's going to happen is it's going to be whoever gets lucky on the first one that opens is probably going to get a point, and then the other person is going to be freaked out trying to catch up. Yep, that's me. Okay, ready? Yep. Here we go. And go. Oh, what? No. 
Ah! Uh. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, attempt number whatever at this point. Ready? Yep. And go. No. Did it open? I haven't noticed. Oh, I did notice. No. One. No. Oh, I wasn't sure if I hit it or not. <laughs> I tried so hard to get there and hit it. Why'd I go for that? That was too risky. Now it's on you. Let's see if I can beat three. Yeet. Oh, gosh. Oh, pre-jumped it. Nuts. <laughs> now I'm cheating. Ow, ow, ow. It's ow. lagging. I can't do it when it's <laughs> lagging. I burned to death while cheating. Oh, this is so bad. I burned to death while cheating. Ah! <laughs> I'm just better. <laughs> oh, God, I got pre jump again. No, nope, fell in the lava. I am on fire. I hit the stupid uh, uh, ladder. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, I really appreciate you coming out and destroying me in this game. <laughs> yeah, uh, the eight diamond blocks, I appreciate it. Wait. Yeah, well. No, it's more wait. than that. You got nine. Nine, because I didn't have to give you any from the first uh, two. Well, congrats on that. I hate you. Thanks. <laughs> All right, man. I'll see you later. <laughs> All right, see you, bud. Look at it. We finally have the mushroom head. I've seriously massacred so many mushrooms trying to get this one head. So it, it is that rare to me. It, it is my white whale. So I'm so happy that I could trade him some wool for a mushroom head. And uh, yeah, I actually put it on the shelf in the office. I was going to put it up there, but it's really hard to see. And I didn't like that. So put, put it back down here. So as you can see, the map is also updated here in the office. And these are locked. So this version of the map will not change. Um, you can even see that I did it after I did the wool. So one of the things that I want to actually do today is I think I'm going to set up a new shop. So I'm going to go gather some materials. I'm going to bring you guys back here shortly, and then we'll kind of talk a little bit about the idea. We have gathered materials. We have picked a spot. It's viewable from top tower, and it's here next to the park that we spent so much time creating these armor stands. And it's fitting because we are going to offer this as a service in an armor stand shop. So I'm going to just jump immediately into the time lapse here. It, it's pretty obvious uh, what I'm going to be building. And I hope that you enjoy the time lapse. Let's get started. Can you tell what it is? It's a giant armor stand. So I just spent some time, obviously after building this, kind of making these little books and kind of explaining it. But what I want to do really quick for the AutoCraft members is just kind of talk about what or how the shop works, I guess is the right way to put it. So basically the, the shop works as follows. It's one diamond block per two armor stands. And then at the very end, I will either give you a refund of diamonds if the scene was easy to make, if you provide the heads and clothes and all of that, or I will provide a payment request uh, if the scene was really difficult to make. Maybe I had to use extra armor stands. It took me a long time. So just want to make sure that you guys kind of know how it works. So think of the initial diamond block payments as your down payment, and then I will always true up at the end. So read the book before you make a purchase, but yeah, I feel like it's fitting to be next to the park with all the little scenes that we made yesterday. And I'm excited to see if other people want to bring life to their areas, their bases, whatever it is. And it doesn't have to just be people, right? I do other armor stand work that you've seen at my base with like making displays and, and little things just look a little bit cooler. So it can always be something like that as well. So I also just got a message from death that my villager breeder is complete. So I have not been over there since he started building it. Basically, he sent me a message saying, stay away from your base. So I was like, well, I want to build a shop anyway. Let's go do that. He's been building over there. Let's go ahead and see what he has completed. 
All right, here we are, and we can see there's something going on over there. Um, he did message me because he got rid of the villagers that were below the bottom of this. Well, at least one of them is now in its new home over here. Uh, the other one was really annoying and apparently died in the process. So I don't know if he... Okay, so yeah, he just refilled it with a standard one, which I'm totally okay with. I can always level them up. He did... We did confirm that he kept the one that has the cyan terracotta. So thankfully the one that died wasn't that one. So I can I can get rid of all this, which I'll work on off camera. I don't need to do it all on camera, but I believe he said that he also filled in. Yep, cool. So we're full on both sides now of this structure. So yeah, just ex exciting stuff here. Let's go ahead and take a look at what he built for us. Okay, I see what he's doing here. He did say that it's a little bit of a mess right now, and when I complete the building surrounding it, that he will come over here and change some things. So I know that he set them to breed and he filled it up. I need to provide carrots, which I have a ton of carrots. So I'm not worried about that, honestly. Um, it looks like we're dealing with five breeding pairs. They come down here. Look at even attention to detail he used purple beds for me so we got little babies there waiting to grow up once they grow up they'll get sent over into this holding area they get a mine cart to drag them where's the zombie oh there he is <laughs> they drags them all the way around there there's the zombie they get zombified we send the villager here, put the workstations. Oh, he gave me a little chest for workstations. That's genius. Potion, which I told him don't provide any of this stuff. I have a ton of it. Uh, once I'm happy with their trades, I'll lock them in. And then he looped it around so that I can do it again, basically. So if I need to like zombify a villager five or six times before we actually send them off, that's what I need to do. So that's cool because it gives me a lot of room to play with the actual like uh, villager breeder house area here. So thank you, Death. I appreciate that. So ultimately, I'm very happy with this build. I appreciate it, Death. Thanks for messaging me and letting me know that's complete. Thanks for keeping the zombie who is now no longer floating over where the original iron farm was. And I guess, you know, what we could do really quickly is test it out. All right, let's try it. Bam, let's grab a villager. Oh, that's to send him. How do we get the actual minecart? I think that's what that button is supposed to do. No, maybe it's this button. Oh, shoot. Well, we got a problem. Well, I royally screwed that up, so I'm gonna deal with this later. <laughs> I'm gonna do it in between episodes. The zombie's out, I gotta put them back. Uh, I already did it once, and then I went ahead and did it again, so I'm gonna install a fail-safe system so that if it doesn't pick up a villager, it doesn't send the minecart. Oh, and perfect. Right in the dusk evening time. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. I hope that the auto crafters take advantage of this. Make sure that you check out their content to see if they do. All of their links are in the description below. I hope that you have a wonderful evening. Don't forget to like, subscribe, do all those fun things. And we'll catch you on next week's episode. Bye.